Hey guys, Josh Winton here with uh, Discrete Restoration. Uh, today I am on site in West Boca Raton in the Shores community uh, right here off of Yamato Road for some of you local folks. And uh, what we're doing today is we are called out by a real estate professional uh, with concerns following a mold assessment that was performed by a licensed mold assessment contractor down here in South Florida. And uh, what they did is they came in, they performed a thorough investigative process on this property here because this is part of a real estate transaction and typically part of that process above and beyond the traditional home inspection. Now more and more folks are performing some level of mold and moisture assessments. So we had a company out here, I won't provide names, we'll kind of keep it discreet if you will. Um, the company came out and they performed a series of different sampling methods. Uh, everything from testing the air, uh, looking for any type of different mold genus, which is going to be uh, groupings of species that are in the air that otherwise shouldn't be there, as well as what's known as interstitial samples, which are wall cavity samples where you just drill a small hole and do, uh, do some testing inside the wall space just to see what's going on, growing, migrating. And then you also have your traditional surface samples, which are just like you'd think, you either take a piece of tape or you take a uh, what looks like a large q-tip which is actually a swab and you would take a sample off of the surface send that out to a laboratory and depending on what uh what mold is actually in that sample itself is going to kind of dictate where you kind of land on the th on uh on what's considered acceptable i guess you'd say so what I thought I'd do today, since I'm on site, I've already done my investigative and inspection process when it comes to uh, being able to provide this client here with a, uh, a quote that is in line with what the assessment contractor is looking for, is I thought I would show you some of the areas that were sampled and exactly what they look like, as this is important, especially if you're selling a home in South Florida or you're a real estate professional representing a buyer or a seller, um, you need to know what's gonna go on inside this property so that way you can better prepare yourself. So inside of this lovely master bathroom that you see, you know, quite spacious, um, we have some sampling that was done over here. Let's see how well we can get down here. You can see these white caps right there. Then you see another one right there. And what these are is these are interstitial samples. So if I actually take in close, you can kind of see a little bit better. What happened was that there were two small holes made in this area. This is, again, right next to a shower. And these two holes were made that way they can take a sampling device known as a sampling pump and place a small tube inside of this wall cavity here. This is known as an interstitial sample. And what they would do is they would take in X amount of liters of air, send that off to the laboratory, and the laboratory would tell them exactly what's going on inside of that wall. So we also have one over here, not sure how well you can see, but in between the tub and the shower, that was uh, where another sample was taken. And this is for some of the non-obvious concerns, I guess you'd say, where you may have a little bit of water damage. As you can see from afar, that baseboard looks pretty good, pretty intact. Um, but once you actually get inside of the wall, sometimes they'll find some things. In this case, that was negative. There wasn't any hyphae present inside of that wall. But then, for example, you might come into an area such as this, where you've got a traditional you know, room with a toilet in it. And then as you can see down there in the back, you've got what appears to be a leak stemming at the base of the toilet. Could be something as simple as a wax ring that went bad. Uh, could be some other plumbing failures. Um, I mean, the sky's the limit on what issues there could be around toilets. But then I thought I'd take you around to one other noteworthy area I wanted to show you guys because this one's pretty obvious, but also not obvious from the viewpoint of when you walk into a laundry room, normally your focal point is, you know, up here, you're doing the laundry, you've got the mop sink, you can go ahead and wash your hands, et cetera, et cetera. But obviously one area where you're not looking is gonna be down low. And unfortunately, clear as day, you can see there's some level of microbial growth and activity going on down there. Uh, this area did register wet, so that tells us that this is something that is of the more, re excuse me, a little more recent, meaning something happened, whether it was a 
uh, washing machine failure that might have happened. It could be something where there's a plumbing failure with the sink faucet, one of the supply lines. So these are all different things that go on in the moisture and mold assessment process, as well as there is a lot of overlap with the home inspection process. But the reason for my visit or for uh, taking you guys on this tour here is I just wanted to show you a little bit of the sampling process where you may see samples when you are selling your home. So to any of you that are on the verge of selling your home or if you're a real estate professional, these are areas where you should focus your attention on because simply put, if you're on the buying side, rest assured that a good home inspection and mold detection and assessment company would actually catch these areas. And so that way you're not having to deal with this when all you really wanna do is sell your home and move on to the next chapter of your life. Be aware of these things from the buying side. This is what you should also be looking at. This is a pretty good indication on what's gone on inside of this home from the viewpoint of uh, leaks and water damage. Obviously, if you have a compromised immune system, these are that much more important to you. So if you guys have any questions, you're looking for just a simple quote, uh, you'd like me to come out and film a YouTube video in your home, hey, I'm, I'm available for hire. Uh, you can give us a call toll free at 888-405-2923. You can also find us on the web at discreetrestoration.com. Stay tuned for the uh, little scrolling marquee that we've become a little famous for. And uh, until the next time, thanks guys.